everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all i told you i was gonna have another sephora haul this is the last one probably only because the sale is over i don't know what happened to me y'all usually i get a lot of things at sephora during the winter sale and then it's a couple things here and there for spring but this year it was i <laughs> the spring sale got me so you know um i'm gonna have to take a little i'm not even say i'm gonna take a break because i'll tell you later on but let's let's get into this haul it's not that much but i have some some things we have to go over so the first thing here i decided to pick up these sephora hair no slip bobby pins i just wanted to try these but y'all i thought this said a hundred because this is five dollars this is only 45 doggone um bobby pins i thought i was getting a hundred reading is fundamental okay because i'm like dang well it was 30 percent off so but still <laughs> So I'm, I'm curious to see how these things perform, okay? So I got some bobby pins, and let's stick with hair. So this has been on my list for a minute. This is a Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength Plus Moisture Leave-In Mask. So I was thinking maybe I could try this as a curl refresher. So we shall see. Um, well, it says spray through freshly washed hair or whatever but we'll we'll see i just want to see how this works so yeah i'm i just want to see what it does briogeo i have tried some of their hair products and i do like them i don't think i have fallen in love with any of them but i have i do enjoy them and this has been on my list for a minute and i also this has been on my list too and i just ran out of my protein uh, packs for my hair so I was like I, I need another protein treatment so I decided to finally get the Briogeo Don't Despair Mega Strength Rice Water Protein Plus Moisture Strengthening Treatment what a mouthful so I am really excited to try this I heard great reviews about it so those are is that everything for hair no I have one more thing for my hair so y'all know if you watched my previous haul I have fallen in love with the Moroccan oil scent, the products, I've just fallen in love with them. So I decided to get the all-in-one leave-in conditioner because again, I wanna use this as a curl refresher. So we're gonna see because my favorite curl refresher now is the way, but I like to rotate my products. So we're gonna see how these work and yeah and I'm, i wanted some good smelling stuff i know the moroccan oil smells good i can't wait to see what the briogeo smells like i have to spray this so we're just gonna have to, i'm gonna have to see whenever i decide to use it but yeah so that's all for the hair products so i have a couple of skincare products so i told y'all this was stayed on my mind i love glow recipe I was like, I'm getting it. So this is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA plus AHA Salicylic Serum. So this is for clarifying and retexturizing to help with breakouts also. And I still get breakouts. Ugh. You know, it's more hormonal now, but I still get them. So this is cute. You know, their packaging is just adorbs. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm excited to have this. Let's see what it, well, no, I don't wanna open it, y'all, because I'm not getting ready to use it right now. I am going to be using my, which I just opened yesterday because I finished my other serum, the, uh, do I can I, First Aid Beauty uh, Salicylic Pads. I bought those in my previous haul. So after I finish with those, then I'll go to this and then we'll see what else I wanna use after that. And I also picked up this Ola Hendrickson Transform Plus Fat Glow Facial. This has been on my list forever. And I finally decided to get it. It's just supposed to help make your face look glowy, your skin look glowy, refreshed. And we're all about that all the time, but especially for spring, summer. So yeah, 
can't, I can't wait to try this. And I saw Amy Glam talk about it. And I was like, that's been on my list for a minute. So I went through my loves and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. So yeah, I can't wait to try that. And so now I'm going to talk about where I lost my mind for this sale. So I have, as you know, we have been in masking season for some years now, but I have kind of, I haven't done away with my mask, but I checked the CDC. I checked to see, you know, the, the level of cases in your county. And so we're low right now. So I have been, you know, dipping my toe into not having my mask on all the time everywhere I go so I have I've always been a lip product girl and so yeah I've like whoo I lost my mind with glosses for this sale and so I have one two three four I have five lip products here and then in total this is five six seven eight nine and it would have been 10 if I could have found one gloss in stock. <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, the first one we're going to talk about is Patrick Ta. I have, this is my first Patrick Ta. No, it's not my first product. I got their shimmer oil. So, this is my first makeup product. And this is the Major Volume Plumping Gloss in Pouty. So, I this is this color wasn't even on my radar, but I couldn't find the other pink, so I decided I'm just gonna go with this one. That's how it looks. I have worn this, and it is nice. It does have that plumping feeling. It reminds me of Buxom, but not as strong and intense of a tingle as Buxom can get. It was very glossy, very pretty, but. I have to say, it, it's not better to me than my um, Fenty glosses from Rihanna. I was trying to see, is anything going to... Because it's some glosses... Have been, I've been looking at some glosses, as I said, for some years. But I wasn't going to buy them. Except the limited edition Fenty, because I didn't want to miss out on them. Because I was like, I'm, who's going to sell them? <laughs> you know? So I put it off and then lost my mind this spring. Since I have, you know, shown my lips some. So yeah, it's pretty. I love the packaging. It, it's a great uh, applicator. I like that it's a big applicator. Yeah, I, it's nice, but like I said, it, it doesn't top Fenty for me. And, you know, at first when I put it on, because with colors like this, I do have very, I have pigmented lips. So pinks and stuff, if they work for me, I'm super excited. This is one I felt like it, it looked like a tint of color for a little while, but it wasn't long lasting. And then it just looked like a clear gloss, but still pretty. So the other one that's on my list still, it's still on my mind, is one that's a darker pink. And I want to try that one. And I wanted to, oh, it just wasn't in stock. I'm so mad. But I do like it, but it's not above Fenty. And then I was watching uh, Leah Janae. This is um, this is her. So, <laughs> I saw this gloss she had, and I went, oh, it's so pretty. Now this, is, I have it on my lips today, so I wanted I wanted y'all to tell me your opinion. So this is the Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm in 001 Pink Irresistible. And when y'all see this glow, oh, by Givenchy. So this is my first time buying any makeup from Givenchy. So when y'all see this gloss, you're going to understand why I lost my mind. And was like, this was sold out online, all of them. I think it said one color, or maybe not even that. And this is supposed to adjust to the perfect pink of your lips. I was hoping the pink looked like this. To me, let me show you. You know, I can't see myself, so. But to me, this is more, it's a darker pink. It's And I've been putting it on all day. And, and this has a little tingle to it, too. And she mentioned the smell, but I don't get much of a smell. But you know what it smells like? It smells like the YSL lip products. 
Yeah. So maybe I'm used to that scent. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I was hoping the pink would look like this on my lips, but it is darker. So y'all tell me what do you think? Because it adjusts, it's supposed to give you your perfect pink lip. And I like it. I don't know if I'm in love with it because I want it to be this color pink, but it is very pretty. And you know, it's so fun if you're with your girlfriends or something and you're like, oh, let me touch up and you pull this out. Hey, oh girl, what's that? <laughs> you know, because we all love pretty things. So I'm not upset that I purchased it because it was, it was going to linger in my mind and it sold out online. So I had to find it in a store near me. And it, this was the the patrick tall one i wanted was online but i was like i'm not placing an order just for the gloss so i like it i don't know if i love it i don't know and it, i must say it doesn't get sticky doesn't get thick let me see oh it does still look glossy but it's not super glossy it just looks very i don't know i don't know y'all tell me what you think but this is what i'm wearing let me hold it up again. This is what I have on my lips right now. Now, this is the second vi video I'm filming today. I didn't touch up. So that's why it's probably not as glossy because I've been talking for a while now. But yeah, I like it. I don't know if I love it. Okay. That didn't top R Rihanna's Fenty glosses either. Because I, like I said, I've been wanting to try a few glosses. And I must say, none of them have topped, have not Fenty off my number one spot yet. Okay. So this is the other one. I got all the ones I was interested in from this Givenchy line. Because I didn't know when they were going to restock them online. And they're, you know, mm -mm, I, I don't play that game anymore. This is 210 Pink Nude. Okay, so I haven't looked at this one. So let's see how this one looks. Oh, that looks pretty. This looks like a true Your Lips But Better probably color. You know, that neutral pink. Is that what they call? Oh, pink nude. So yeah, that looks pretty. This packaging is to die for. Now these are $37. That's why I was like, let me get the ones I'm interested in with the 20% off because this is expensive. Are these worth $37? No. Not in my opinion. You're paying for the name Givenchy, the brand, and you're paying for this beautiful packaging, the experience. And but I will I'm not, you know, knocking the lip product because like I said, sometimes when you keep applying me, when I keep applying reapplying gloss, my lips will start peeling. My lips didn't peel with this, they didn't get sticky, it's very comfortable. So they are, it's a good gloss, but it just didn't top Fenty. The last gloss I purchased was 110 Milky Nude. And this is me looking at the models and everything. Y'all, so. This, ooh. Oh, this looks pretty. Ooh. This has like micro shimmer, pink shimmer. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I might be wearing this tomorrow. Ooh. So I'm gonna have to give you an update. But again, tell me what y'all think about the pink. Tell me what you think of the pink. Cause it's not, it's lighter, it's it's darker than what I wanted. I, you know, I was looking at Leah Janae and I should have known, we're not gonna have the same doggone lip color. We're not, you know, we, we're not the same race. We don't have the same pigmentation. So hers was more, it was light. But my, and I, maybe she had it over a lipstick. I don't know. And plus her lips are more pinky. My, my lips aren't pinky. So it didn't look like hers, but I, I was hoping for a lighter pink, but I got this one. I don't hate it, but it's just not what I was expecting. So tell me what y'all think. So the last lip product I have, I was watching. Oh my goodness. I hate when I can't remember people. Y'all, I cannot remember the channel name her channel name and i went to go get up so if i'm not in the right spot i'm sorry then my other phone is dead and I, right when i'm trying to look oh, it's a mess but then the name came to me like that oh after i did all that the name came to me i was watching miss so delicious channel and she was talking about the dior attic lip glows i have been seeing those for years okay i don't think i ever bought one 
I was trying to think back, have I ever bought one? Never did. So it's spring, I'm on a pink kick. My, you know, my lips are out now. So I decided to get the Dior Attic Lip Glow 001 Pink. So I'm excited to try this out. Oh, and see, they just can't, the packaging is just so pretty, you know? And that's what you pay the little extra money for. Oh, this doesn't really have a smell. But yeah, that's how it looks. So this is supposed to, I'm thinking this is supposed to do for my lips what the Dior Nail Glow does for my nails. So I'm hoping this is a very light, nice pink, not as deep of pink as this, but we shall see. So y'all, those are all the lip products, okay? So I also restocked on my Fenty Beauty in Visa Matte Blotting Powder, Blotting Paper Refill. So I have a little container, if y'all can see, it looks like that on the back. I don't have the container with me. It's in my desk at work. So I hope I remember to take this because I've, I haven't really, you know, when I start wearing makeup, I notice my skin kind of gets oilier. I don't know why. When I wear my curls, my, my skin on my face gets oilier. I think because of the product in here, in my hair. So I was like, I need to get some more of these now. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to talk about some fragrances. I'm so excited to smell these. I am red tea okay so the first one i picked up is ellis brooklyn sweet the only reason i purchased this perfume and i decided to get a travel spray because i have a ellis brooklyn uh i had one the sample spray but i wasn't blown away with it so I was like, mm, let's just get the travel size. And the only reason I got this was because it has a marshmallow note. And we all know um, Shauna says about the marshmallow life. So let's see what I think. Please, I mean, mm, mm, I'm getting like a tanginess in this fragrance. Why is this reminding me of Ariana Grande's fragrances? Kind of like R-E-M, Thank You Next 2.0, mixed together. I mean, I am getting a hint of some marshmallowiness. But I'm getting like, I don't know, I keep, it's like R.E.M. Thank you, Next 2.0. Some floral and then some, a little bit of marshmallow. So I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know. I'm glad I got the travel spray. I'm going to have to wear it and see. Because I'm not disliking it. But I've also sprayed a few things in here. Well, not spray, but I've smelled a, a lot for my previous video I just filmed, so my nose might be acting up. But I don't dislike it, but it's not like, woo, marshmallow heaven. It's not like what I was hoping for. But yeah, it's interesting. I'm gonna have to give you an update. But yeah, so this is Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. Okay, so the next two, I believe I, did I? Okay, so I got Toka Julieta. I also decided to get the travel spray because I, this I went through, I used, oh my goodness. <laughs> I used um, my sample size and I said, well, I don't know. Cause I have, I just wasn't ready to, to spend that much on a full size. So here's the packaging. This is my first time ever purchasing Toka. This is my first time ever purchasing Ellis Brooklyn. So let's open it together. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm not gonna read what it says because I'm trying to keep this not too long. But that is a that's beautiful. This reminds me of Kaoli, how they do their travel size. 
you know, it doesn't look like this. I can't stand these pen sprays. I don't like rollerballs. I don't like pen sprays. But if you give me something substantial in a travel size, I like this. So I'm not gonna spray this and I can already kind of smell it because I've already used up the sample. So this is not my first time smelling this. This is shampooy, fresh shower vibes. Yeah. And it's like hair is the look. Think of ah oh, Dylan Blue Porfim. That smells like your luxury hair products mixed, you know, all together with everything you've used, and you just smell good from head to toe. This is like that, but less luxury high end um, hair products, but still good smelling hair products with floral, like floral shampoo. Oh, I like it. It smells even better from here than I remember the sample. Let me see if they have the notes. I would say if they had the notes on here. Okay, so yes, it says Julieta is an enchanting blend of delicate pink tulips, fresh green apples, and sweet vanilla orchid. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Yeah, I like it. So I, I'm happy with this. And the packaging is adorbs, simply adorable. So the next fragrance I picked up is Simone because I need more watermelon fragrances in my life, okay? I have the watermelon body cream from Glow Recipe. I have the watermelon uh, body butter from Tree Hut. I have Bath and Body Works watermelon, pink watermelon, uh fragrance line i have <laughs> body ecology watermelon splash okay i have what's the other one i have i can't even melon sorbet from victoria's secret i was like look i'm about to go through all these watermelon perfumes trying to finish up some of these products i got i said i need some more watermelon <laughs> so simone is supposed to have watermelon you know it's pictured as oh let me tell it oh it's so pretty pictured as on the website in the picture it has watermelon all behind the the perfume on sephora so let's see y'all because i it's mixed reviews on this it is mixed reviews on this scent so we about to see let me tell y'all Okay, what is this? Okay, this has notes of watermelon, French Japani, Ylang Ylang, and some I don't know how to pronounce. And it says, a fearless young beauty dives into the waves of Bondi Beach. Is that Calypsone? Here, let me hold it up. So hopefully y'all saw that. Um... I don't know because <laughs> when I think watermelon, I'm thinking fruity, juicy, sweet, even a little um, watery if you're not sweet, you know, kind of like that infused fruit water that the Dolce & Gabbana 3 Lynn Patrice can give you. This to me is more floral than watermelon. It's floral, watermelon, floral. So I don't know. It's this is how this is giving me watermelon hairspray. That's what it's giving me, like that hairspray smell with a dash of little watermelon. It's not sweet watermelon. It's like the rind of the watermelon. I am so happy. I did not buy the full bottle. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try this out, y'all, but this is not what I was expecting. So I'm, hmm, it, it's two more watermelon fragrances that I was thinking about getting. Uh, and I think I'm gonna have to, <laughs> cause this is not giving me the kind of watermelon I 
want. But I haven't put it on my skin yet. You know, I haven't layered it up yet. So we'll see. But yeah, smelling it from here is toned down some. The, the intense florals have toned down. So it's not as like, I was like, oh, it's not like that anymore. But it's still not, oh my goodness. It's not that for me. But it's pleasant. But it's not giving me the watermelon I want it to give. Yeah, so we're going to have to see. I'm not disappointed that I purchased it at all because I hate to wonder. I hate to wonder, and I got it on sale. I'm going to use it. I'm going to see, and, you know, at the end, I'll know, do I want to get a full bottle of this, or am I done? You know, it might be how Shawn's is uh, purchasing fragrances because I always thought, this little tangent, I always was like, if I'm going to... Why am I spending money twice? This is this is my point of view. I'm like, why am I gonna pay for this? And then if I use this up quickly and I gotta go buy a full bottle, I'm spending double the money. So that's why I always kind of stayed away from travel sprays. And I still don't love the idea. Like I might start getting like the smaller bottles, but yeah. But I am happy I got Simone in a travel spray, you know. Cause we're gonna see we're gonna see but as of right now mm -hmm. i don't know so of course you all i got two little samples um with my sephora order since i placed an online order and this is Erin mediterranean honeysuckle so we're gonna go ahead and smell these together because i only pick fragrances if that's what I choose. And I hate when they don't have anything, even if they have something that I have in my collect. Ooh, y'all, I just spraying the perfume and doing this got all on the face. So even when they have fragrances that I have in my collection, I will get them, I'll give them to other people or, you know, because I just, I don't want little packets of stuff. I'm not a packet girl. I don't know, but for some reason, this is reminding me of Tom Ford, Ole Sole Blanc, EDT. Yeah, more floral. Yeah. So, it's okay. I mean, I... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is very floral. I take that back. It's something in there that reminds me of it, but no, it's, it's not like that. Mm, I'm not loving that either. So the other fragrance sample that I chose is the Clean Reserve Lush Floor. Now, I don't have any fragrances from uh, Clean Reserve. I have plenty of these little samples of different fragrances, but I've never purchased a full-size bottle of them. Nothing has made me want to pay you know, get a full bottle. So let's see if Lush Fleur does it. No, I mean, this is just straight up floral. Just flowers all up in your face, all in your nose. I mean, you have to love floral fragrances. I mean, I expect it to be floral, but it's not any, it's, it's not any sweetness. It's not as green as those fragrances. If y'all know me, I do not love those green fragrances. It's like a tangy floral. The kind that maybe go, Achoo! that you, you would sneeze. So, mm, I'm not loving either one of these samples, but y'all, Oh, I got a whiff of something that smell good. It's that sweet by Ellis Brooklyn. Okay. Okay, Ellis. I still don't know if you full bottle though. Full bottle worthy though yet. But I am getting that marshmallow. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't wait to. <laughs> I can't wait to play the layering game with that. So y'all, that's my haul. Now let me tell you. It's three. It's three things on my mind, okay? Patrick Ta, that other gloss. I want the darker pink one. I saw so many hauls of the Patrick Ta palette, but it was online only. And I was like, oh, 
And I, by the time I was like ready, to, I was getting ready to place the order. Y'all, I fell asleep. Woke up after 12 in the morning. Say hello. I was like, oh, it's because I was debating and I fell asleep watching videos of, you know, there's a four halls and everything. So the Patrick Ta is, is some kind of rose um, eye palette. And I'm, I was not going to get that, but I saw someone, oh, I can't remember who, they swatched that and we're kind of the same skin tone. I was like, <gasps> oh, so yeah, so that's on my list. I want the bubbling oxygen face mask from, I think, Dr. Brandt. That I, that I fell asleep, y'all. That was in my cart too to get because that's been on my list as long as this, longer. So I said, okay. Oh, so those are is that three? Those are the three I can't remember. Yeah, I think that's it. Those are the three things I regret. Now, it was one thing from uh, the Moroccan hair oil. I wanted the shimmer glimmer uh, hair oil. And then by the time I decided to go ahead and get it, because I was trying to get everything in store and do pickup orders, it was gone. It was gone from the website, y'all. So it's, I, I guess I missed out on it for life. I don't know. Unless I want to go to the Moroccan oil website and order something. But those are three things that I am planning to get from Sephora for sure with my credit card rewards. That's what I'm going to do. Then after that, Mm -mm. I'm not going to be going to Sephora because usually, like I say, Sephora, I only shop at Sephora when there's the sale and it's usually two times a year where it's 20% off everything. That's the winter sale and the spring sale. And, you know, they'll sprinkle in some things here and there, but those are the predominantly the times I shop at Sephora. And usually it's the winter sale where I, you know, you know, I get a lot, but the spring sale, they have some good stuff, y'all. So, I mean, after I get those three things with my credit card rewards, I am, I'm taking a break from Sephora, okay? We're taking a good long break from Sephora, unless I have to restock on something, because that's how I do. I shop the sales, I use my stuff. If there's a, you know, something that I just fall in love with, you know, I'll get that, but big hauls like this, no, that is not me. I don't be living up in Sephora because Sephora too expensive. So, yeah, those three things. I'm not probably not going to haul those three things unless I have it, you know, with something else. But this is my last big Sephora haul for a minute, y'all. I had me a good old time at the sale. Did y'all? If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below did y'all have fun shopping the, the spring sale i have never purchased this much at a spring sale ever in my life since i've discovered sephora you know i've been the vib i've been the beauty insider i've been the vib and i've been rouge for some years now um and i've never like I said, had this much fun at spring sale. So y'all, please tell me what you purchased. Tell me what you got from the Sephora sale. If you shopped it, if you didn't, cause I'm still in shock. I don't know if y'all can tell, I'm in shock. <laughs> I went this hard during spring at, at the, for their Sephora spring sale event. Never have in my life. It was, it was me, you know, taking off that mask. I lost my mind getting all these lip products and stuff. <laughs> So y'all please share this video with everyone who loves a haul and who loves Sephora and who loves the sales at Sephora, okay? And please turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.